here. Yep. And by the way, he's been doing this every time. Like he's been setting the club a little bit more and then he just drives through it. And you know what's funny? Those are going almost as far know, as the ones we're going. What's going on right now? <laughs> so like that's what's, carrying 155. What's funny 150. is Ben's doing this drill and we love this drill. This is the set like 60%. go. 60%. Yeah, 60%, right? We're, we're literally setting it halfway back. And he's hitting it from right here. And he's literally hitting it as far as he was making his full swings before we made the adjustment of setting the club better. I mean, they're flying Maybe not within three to five yards of every single one that he was hitting full before. I'm gonna pull an example out of somebody who hinges the club really well, okay? So let's go with Mark Hensby here. Watch the difference here, Ben. He keeps his hands very low, very, 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 very low, and he feels a little downward pressure there. See that? It's like he's pushing down this way on the handle. So you can see by the time his left arm gets parallel to the ground, look at the way that club set. See that angle? He can just turn a little bit more. He already feels the weight of the club over there. That's what allows to keep that width and that angle's already set. If you're here, just, just give me, give me there. Okay. And here's the thing, how about this? Meet me halfway to where you don't even, you don't even need to go on top. You just need to go, ready? Like up a little bit more. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah. So like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I just want to see it under the heel pad. And, and this is important for the viewer. Like, look at this. Ideally, you're holding the golf club like this. There's a famous image in Hogan's book where it shows holding a club like that. Now, why? The downward pressure into that heel pad as I turn is what sets the club, okay? And what I want to see is more of this feel right here. As you turn, more of that pushing down feeling this way with the handle, like right here. If we can simply get the club set a little bit more below your pocket, meaning when your hands are below belt high, we can have that club set a little bit more. Well, here's what the beautiful thing about this is. When your hands arrive at this spot, you're already gonna feel like, oh, I've got everything I need. Yeah. My point to you, and I've already illustrated this, but I wanna make it clear. When you're here like this, you're there like this, and your mind goes, well, hold on, now I need to continue this swing, and that's where the arms get jammed behind you, and you're caught. Okay. Yeah. So, in, in total, what I want to see out of your swing today, a little more set, shorter arm swing, a yeah. little more width, right there. So, what's the great drill for this? You've only done it a million times, just like all, yes, I go, here we go. I'm just going to do it right here, ready? It's just this one. One, right there, right? Yeah. And you see that ball fight just comes out a little flatter doesn't quite have that big spinny high up in the air. Just give me a couple drills, buddy, okay? Just go smooth with it. That was way better right there, by the way, Ben. Look at that ball flight, dude. Watch yeah. how far that ball goes in comparison to the other ones. Oh, well, there's your 170 again. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, dude. You know, Rory, Tiger, these guys who don't, who used to not set it a lot. Well, guys, the average golfer, the reason I'm not teaching this takeaway right here the reason I'm not teaching this takeaway to the average golfer is this. Very, very few golfers, especially amateurs, go from here to there on the way down. They just go from here back to here. My players set the angle so they actually can feel this angle, they can feel that leverage to be able to actually have some lag and arrive with their hands ahead and hit the ball the right way. So most people are much better off learning how to set the club turning to the top. Also, not everybody like Rory and Tiger can do this and end up somehow in a great position at the top. They get up there like this and then the club has that late settle and then has all the breakdown at the top. So I think it's a devastating move to the golf swing and I wouldn't tr simply try to be doing it because Rory McIlroy does it. I wouldn't be doing it because Tiger did it. I would be working on setting the golf club, turning to the top and maintaining that angle throughout the swing more. Okay, I think angle once it's created, it's easier to maintain than it is to try to create in the downswing. That gets real sloppy. But what's cool is, as soon as Ben just started setting the golf club, <laughs> he went from flying it at the white flag to literally now carrying the white flag by 15 yards. Width, you guys, is not with the club head. Width is defined by me by the distance my hands are from the center of my body. 
width maintained is just keeping the hands away from the body center at the same distance. The club can be set, and this is defining width, not that, okay? So very important to understand. You're not just setting the club with your arms and hands and wrists. You're doing it with your lead shoulder pushing into that lead hand and down on the heel pad to be specific. So we're pushing away. Now look at connections maintained between the center of the body and the hands. The connection's key because forget the club for a second. Why is connection key? Well, because then you have the ability to rotate to square up the club face. So connection leads to the ability to have pure rotation. Yeah. That rotation gives you speed, helps you hit the golf ball. Okay. But then you add the leverage that's created with the connection. There's the leverage. And now you have a whole other component of being able to rotate and what? Release. And that rotate and release, that's what gives you the pop, okay? okay. Yeah. All right, Benny. Set it more and see how the club gets more up in the forearm there. Yeah, Ben. Great, buddy. So if I'm right here and I set this club correctly and then I keep the connection and rotate through, that club's going to trap the ball first and then take the divot later. Now watch this, if I didn't set it at all, and I rotate through, it's very easy to catch the ground and scoop up into it. So, yeah. you know, you should be able to feel effortless, effortless um, compression by simply creating that set position right here and rotating through and having that little bit of pop to the golf ball through okay. impact, okay? It's so much better. Take another one, Benny. I'm gonna get a video of you here. How about like 190? <laughs> one one thing that one thing that our viewer can take away from Ben's swing that's gonna benefit them as well. Notice the rhythm at which it, Ben's working his backswing right now. He's making he's making an adjustment. He's making a change, but he's very smooth with his backswing, and and he's taking taking his time getting it back there. A lot of people rush their backswing. And even when they work at something, they work at it at the pace they normally swing. It's not the way to do it. You want to slow yourself down, guarantee you hit those checkpoints. You know, I think a lot of times too fast of a backswing, not only does it cause disconnection, but when you're too fast with the backswing, you just aren't able to feel those checkpoints. You're not able to guarantee that you're reaching that perfect spot. This is golf swing number one on the right here. Very low back, low, 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 low. Look at this, at the time the club's in line with the hands, very much underneath the hands, okay? Watch the difference in this takeaway right here. Look at the club get up, look at the club get up, look at this. Perfect. That's wow. what I'm talking about right there, okay? Oh, Ben, best swing of the day, buddy. For Zach Golf, we take a lot of pride in having developed some of the best and most consistent golf swings on the planet. We do this through simplicity. Our Full Swing Masterclass will take you on a step-by-step, easy-to-understand process on how to get your golf swing better than ever. Join the many before you who've utilized our Full Swing Masterclass to take their games to the next level and beyond.